first steps we're going to do is we're going to take out two of the caliper pins located right here and right here and we're going to take a 12 sorry 14 millimeter socket to do that pre-loosened um, this one and just remember you're going to be going counterclockwise so you're going to be going up in this direction and what may be helpful is a cheater bar and I've also taken out this top one as well and we're going to be going in this direction and a tip on this is that if you I'm going to go ahead and lay this if you're not getting enough leverage go ahead and move it up to a higher direction right around here and you can also use a hammer um, to kick it over that way I'm going to show you um, when we remove both of these bolts out we're going to remove the caliper off of this next so we're going to take these out right here that's the first one and then the second one and if you notice on this I've replaced the brakes brake pads on this before and I've added some lubricant back in the day to make it um, come out a little bit easier we're gonna take these off and I'm gonna show you a little bit about how the brakes look all right we're gonna slip these brake pads off show you kind of the thickness of the brake pad I'll show you a comparison and the wear indicator on this has been making noise as you notice by right there what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take out two of the pins that hold the hardware out and they're on the back and I've been pre-loosening I've used a 17 millimeter uh, wrench so I'll show you the location first one's gonna be located here I've kind of pre-loosened that up right here so lefty loosey then we're gonna work on the next one it's located right back here. Located right there. And we're going to work on that next. I think the toughest bolt that you're going to be working is this back bolt. Holds both of these in. And the next part is to remove this rotor. There's going to be two set screws that hold this in. And the most important thing that you can do is you can hopefully get them loose. But this is a hammer wrench screwdriver. I'm going to go ahead and link that in, but I'll kind of show you a little bit about how it works. You're going to be putting in these Phillips heads right here, and sometimes when screws are seized, you're going to hold this, and it's going to push the momentum of the screw in, and you're going to be rotating it, holding it, and rotating into the direction, and then as you hit, you're going to slowly move it counterclockwise to re move it out. So we're going to remove both of these screws out and in the event that you have any issues with this you can always um, potentially screw these screws out as well and sometimes the rotor will come out easily like this and sometimes they won't. So we're going to go ahead and lay that aside and then we're going to clean up this area with a wire brush next. So we're going to 
clean this up so that it gets a good contact spot and you're just going to need a wire brush to do that and I'll cut to the next scene so these are a comparison of the older rotor over here and the newer rotor over here and every time you get a new rotor you're going to have rust inhibitors uh, or oils that are sprayed on here as you notice this, this is about 140k and this is a brand new rotor so we're going to spray it kind of clean the oils out and we're going to get a paper towel and wipe it down next so what we're going to do is we're going to line up these two screw holes with these right here. So we're gonna go ahead and line the holes back up along with these screws. So I'm putting a little bit of anti-seize on here. Ended up buying a container and put a little bit on. Allow you to kind of Temporarily install the screw. And it's just going to allow it to set against here. I'm not going to tighten it up 100%. But we'll do the next screw next. Just put a little bit on here. And then we're going to put that on this one. I'm gonna wipe it down here shortly. I'm gonna spray some brake cleaner here to get this nice and cleaned up. Alright, so the next steps are to get your hardware cleaned up and where the contacts part are. I've cleaned this up a little bit, but you're going to take a wire brush, kind of clean up each of these areas and do the same here. Likewise, we're going to go in reverse and install uh, the back brackets next. So, as we've You may have to lift this up a little bit to kind of get the first screw in. Then we're going to go ahead and do the bottom one. There we go. We're going to do this up. We're going to torque and tighten that up. All right, so the next step that we're going to do is we're going to install the older hardware that we removed. We're going to install the new hardware. I'm going to give you a, a comparison of what these look like. New part here. So, new parts on the left, old parts on the right. They match up pretty well. We're going to lay them in here and then ensure that they do snap in. They're going to be a little bit snug and then they're going to um, give you some brake lubricant or you can buy this. Um, we're going to put it at each of these points. I'm going to finish up installing the hardware neck. We're going to do very similar. to ensure it all snaps in correctly. So I'm going to show you a comparison of the AutoZone Golds right here. These are a new set right here. And these have worn down over the course of about 
70,000 miles. So I've got some good use out of these old brick pads. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and place these brake pads in. And the way I usually lubricate them is that when there's any metal on metal touching right here, I usually will lubricate on the back of these and whenever I install them in, they're just gonna sit in like that. And then the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna compress these and put the brake caliper back on. So the next tool that we're gonna use is we're going to push back the caliper piston back. And you can use this with a very large C-clamp, but you're gonna use an older um, brake pad. And you're gonna be pushing the brake pad in to be able to push the piston in. And just make sure that um, you have your um, brake reservoir here open so that we can do that. So we're gonna go ahead and try to do this next. So once we've lined up this tool, we're going to go counterclockwise and push the piston in. And it's going to use this as an area to push the piston all the way in. Since you have brand new brake pads, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to um, have to push this back so that you can account for the brand new brake pad. So I'm gonna cut part of this out onto the next step so that you can see. All right, we push that back. We're gonna release this, push this back. And the next steps are to put these back so you're gonna take your caliper pin I've already lubed this up We're going to do the top, and then we've already lubed this one up already as well. And I'll show you what it looks like from this perspective. On that bottom pin, we'll go ahead and line that up so that we can put in that bolt and we're going to tighten and torque these up next and then put up the wheel so we're going to tighten these up to tighten the top one up. 